And Hillary Clinton facing fresh calls for her to turn over her personal email server that she used as Secretary of State. This after two inspectors general say that server could be storing potentially hundreds of classified emails. They're now asking the Justice Department to investigate whether any classified information was mishandled. So how could this shake up the 2016 race? Let's have a fair and balanced debate. Radio show host Mark Levine joins us and Brad Blakeman, former senior advisor to President George W. Bush. Thank you so much for Thanks. joining us, gentlemen. Thanks for having us. And Mark, I want to start with you. Uh, why would the Justice Department be asked to investigate this if there is no criminal act? Well, there is no criminal act. In fact, that was falsely reported by the New York Times, which had to issue a retraction. Uh, and also, there was this allegation that it involved wrongdoing by Hillary Clinton that also had to be retracted. It's not wrongdoing by her. What she did is she released material that was not classified. Now, in the rush to release 30,000 emails, 55,000 pages of emails, there's some of the things the intelligence community wants to retroactively classify. And they're saying, hey, Republicans, don't rush to get out in the public so soon. We want to check and make Make sure that none of this should be retroactively classified. Not as top secret, not the highest level, but some of the things as secret. And as someone who's worked for the Department of Homeland Security, I worked um, on their business in Congress, I can tell you that a lot of things are classified that we might not think need to be classified, but I think it's a matter of them just checking to make sure that nothing's going wrong here. Okay, Brad, I want to get your reaction because we heard Mark say that there was absolutely no wrongdoing by the former Secretary of State. What do you say to that? I say there's plenty of wrongdoing. Uh, the first wrongdoing was her making the uh, determination on her own that she would use a personal server for official business. Almost everything the Secretary of State does involves classified information. If that was the sole source of her communication between her and the State Department, I can assure you that within the 55,000 emails that she released and the who knows how many that have yet to be released, there was classified information uh, transmitted through those emails that were taken on her personal server and that was her exclusive communication between her and her State Department employees. So I can assure you there's wrongdoing and, and certainly a lack of judgment on her part for even making the determination to use that form of communication when the State Department had their own servers that were classified and that not only that, but they were protected against intrusions by right. others who were not able or, uh, to have access. Okay, and you said lack of judgment and I want to toss it back over to Mark because Mark, how does this uh, work out for the former Secretary of State when we're dealing with her trying to vie for the nomination because her optics are so important right now. She wants people to trust her. You know, it's interesting because her, her I think the person who's going to be her opponent, Jeb Bush, also refused to use official servers in Florida. He put all his stuff it on his private matter emails what Jeb Bush and he refused to turn it over. He, and, and the prior Secretary no, of State, no. Colin Powell, Let me tell you also something. did it on a his governor, private servers. A governor does not... Well, what about it, Colin Powell? Well, let me, let me, Colin let, Powell turn let, over let me, let me his talk 30 about Jeb Bush. Emails. Let me talk about Jeb Bush. Governors don't common. deal in classified information or Powell? national security. And Colin Powell's uh, use of emails was incidental. It was not uh, officially done as part of his communication. No, he did it on his private server, just like Hillary Clinton. Look, you know, you could say in hindsight it shouldn't have been done this way, but the one thing we should be clear of is there's never been a single piece of information that was classified at the time Hillary Clinton had it in we her private know emails. That. We do know that. No, they we have do not, not found a single one yet. You no, know that. of course not, because she's not going to release that. They've been she's released. They've been released to the State Department. Come on. They're going through them. Okay, Where's I her server? Say, we only have a couple minutes left, so I just want to get in one more question and shift gears here, and I'll, and I'll pose it to Mark and then Brad. Brad, you can respond, or respond. We learned this morning that Hillary will appear uh, before a House committee on Benghazi. So is this perhaps the Clinton campaign backpedaling? I mean, there's a number of accusations and scandals going on. Is this her just trying to tackle one of them? Well, I think they're going to subpoena her again, and she's going to honor a subpoena. But let's all remember that the House Intelligence Committee, run by Republicans, has completely exonerated Hillary Clinton with anything to do with Benghazi. So they're going to keep trying and trying to make this a big deal for political reasons. But this, these questions have already been answered. Okay, Brad, I want to get your response, and then we're going to have to wrap it up. Well, look, she was not exonerated of anything. If anything, she's stonewalled. We know that the facts show she was asleep at the switch. She did not take command and control, and she fostered a story. Why did the Republicans that she fostered say it was okay? a story that was patently false. We know that. It wasn't because of a video. It was because of an organized terrorist but attack. Brad, why did the Republicans exonerate her? We didn't committee? exonerate her of anything. That intelligence okay, unfortunately, report. gentlemen, I'm going to have to wrap it up there. Mark Levine, thank you so much. Brad Blakeman, thank you so much Thanks. for joining us. Hopefully we can continue us. the discussion uh, more. Thanks so much. Leland?